Did you know that one in four university students suffer prolonged periods of anxiety or depression? Especially young males, especially in their first year when it's their first time away from home. It's nothing to be ashamed of. There was a well-worn path between my residence and the counseling center at U of T. I took full advantage of all the things they had to offer. You know how I feel, how this feels. If you even insinuate for one second that you have a clue of what it's like to be me, here, now, living in this shitty, stupid life, if you try to do that to me one more time, I am going to kill myself. Don't say that! I mean it! You say many, many things to me, and sometimes they're hurtful, hateful things, but I know it's because deep down, it's awesome that we can have open communication, but you cannot say that to me! Okay. Okay. In Calgary, when I got up to pee in the middle of the night, when I was walking on the carpet down the hall, sparks flew from under my heels. I'm not kidding. Well, that happened when we were in Jasper, too. It's the dryness. And then I'd go up on the roof of the residence. And even when it was pitch black, the, the air was full of static, charged up. And then the Rockies, They'd reveal themselves to me. What were you doing on the roof of the residence at night? 